Hi, welcome to ALC. I'm Irene Day. In this video, I'll be talking about engine positioning. This is how the engine is positioned in the engine bay, or how the engine is oriented in the engine bay. It is different from engine location, because you know the engine could be located at the rear, or in the middle, or in front. So now I'm just talking about engine positioning, which is what I said earlier on, how the engine is positioned in the engine bay. First of all, we have two types. We have the transverse engine positioning and the longitudinal engine positioning. The first I'm talking about is the transverse, which is the most common. This is the vehicle. This is the rear of the vehicle. This is the front of the vehicle. So when facing the engine bay or facing the, the vehicle, we see our engine positioned horizontally. That is perpendicular to the direction of travel of the vehicle. So here we have our, our cylinders arranged from the left to the right. Here. And after that, we have the transaxle. The transaxle is made up of the transmission and the differential together in one, and the drive shaft sending power to the wheel of the vehicle to propel the vehicle. So now, that is what the transverse engine position. And for the longitudinal engine position, we have the engine, when standing in front of the vehicle, we have the engine going in a straight line from the middle to the rear of the vehicle. We have the engine here, we have the transmission, we have the propeller shaft, the differential and drive shaft sending wheels to, to boot rear tires of the vehicle. This layout is found mainly in front wheel drives. We also find this in all wheel drive vehicles. Front wheel drive vehicles like the Toyota Camry, most, most Toyota sedans, Honda sedans, our common cars, we, we find this layout in them. And in all wheel drive cars such as the uh, Kia, Sportage, Honda Pilot, Honda CRV, RAV4, Toyota RAV4, all those cars that have all wheel drive this is also how the engine is positioned in them this is the common positioning and now for the longitudinal the longitudinal engine positioning is normally found in rear wheel drive vehicles or high performance vehicles such as mercedes benz bmws lamborghinis and the rest we also find this layout in four wheel drive vehicles so now i mentioned all wheel drive here and i mentioned four wheel drive here please see my video on all wheel drive and four wheel drive to understand the difference between all-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. So this is the layout found mainly in rear-wheel drives and four-wheel drives and this is the layout found in front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive vehicles. The transverse and the longitudinal engine positioning both have their different advantages. In the transverse engine positioning, the engine is located in front and you know it's in front it puts weight on the front wheels which is also the steering wheel and provides better traction. It is lighter to manufacture and cheaper because of less components, unlike the longitudinal, which has the propeller shaft differential sending things to the back of the vehicle. In the transverse engine position, since there's no shaft going to the rear of the vehicle, this can eliminate the center tunnel, that tunnel in the rear. But I don't know why, I still find that tunnel in front wheel drive cars. We see that tunnel in Honda Accord, Toyota Camry, Toyota Corolla. I don't know why they still leave them there. But, but this eliminates that. An advantage of the longitudinal engine positioning over the transverse is increased displacement. Here we can have, in the longitudinal, you can have a, v, a V12. There's space enough for the 12 cylinders, you know, six on both sides. But if you're positioning this transversely and you have, a, to have a V12 here will take up all the space and there'll be no space for the transaxle and all. Although I've seen a, v, a V8 transverse engine vehicle, well, that's like the only one I've seen. It's not really common. Normally, the highest you see is the V6. Another advantage of longitudinal engine is due to the fact that okay, the engine is straight, there's space on both sides to put in more components, and it's easier to work on the, uh, on the engine here because we don't have so much components dancing up and down here. An advantage of the longitudinal engine positioning is that it, give, it gives us a better turning angle. Because there's no drive shaft and there are less components in the engine bay, the front wheels have better, like have more angles to turn. So if you pose, if you place a, a transversely mounted front wheel drive and a longitudinally mounted rear wheel drive, and you test their turning circle, the longitudinally mounted rear wheel drive has a better turning circle than the transversely mounted front wheel drive. Because this it, it because it has the drive shaft and components in the engine bay that limits that's the Avalon that limits its turning angle. Mm -hmm. To learn about front wheel drive and rear wheel drive. Please see my, my video on front and rear wheel drive vehicles. And to understand or learn about front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, and four wheel drive, please see my video on drive lines. So that's a lot of videos for you to see. 
sorry I didn't indicate the, the all-wheel drive layout here or the um, four-wheel drive layout here this is just simply the rear wheel drive and the front wheel drive so when you see those my other videos I will explain deeper about the drive lines that we have in vehicles bear in mind that they are longitudinally positioned all-wheel drive vehicles and they're transversely positioned rear wheel drive vehicles it's just that this are the two that like this is the most common layout or orientation so this is a, a recap of what we just learned here when you stand in front of your engine or your vehicle and you see your engine like that was called horizontally that is a transverse engine and when you stand in front of your vehicle and you see your engine in a straight line that is a longitudinal engine thank you for watching also please subscribe to my youtube channel Ayo loves cars and tell your friends about it share this channel so that you can encourage me and help me make more car videos for us car lovers and non-car lovers so that we just understand and love our cars more thank you